Hey love, so this is going to be a different video. Yes, indeed. That's the Isis Mermaid Collection. And I'll list the color I have below. It's like a silver with black and like a blonde color. So inside, I've already went ahead and put my concealer. This unit has a couple of combs on it. And I did tweeze the part because I needed it to be a lot more predominant. So yeah, let's get started with this. So this is a whole lot different for me. I really don't do these wild, crazy colors like this but you know what it's all for the fun what's not good for me they might just work for somebody else you know the old saying what's good for the goose may not be good for the gander or so on and so on so I went ahead and put some bobby pins in this unit because I really did need a little bit more grip to hold me down it is a side part so I went ahead and pulled out some of my baby hairs and I'm gonna be using one of my favorite hair filler fibers which is topic I love this stuff because it makes my edges look so thick and it also makes them look a lot darker but as for the part I do want it a little bit more predominant and I'm kind of fighting with this whole entire style because I like the color somewhat I'm just not feeling that old kind of granny style that they got going on so I'm really trying to work it I'm not too keen on the tips of the hair like I'm not really a big fan of that so I decided to do the flip over method with this because the color is kind of funky and sassy and I wanted to try to make the wig look just as the color is funky and sassy instead of just laying flat. So let's take a look at the finished or somewhat finished look. Okay guys, so I will be honest and tell you I really don't know what to think about this Isis Mermaid hair. Um, yeah. So as you've seen, I was doing different things to style it because it really looked very wiggy, um, especially with the part. It just looked super wiggy. So I was trying to give it some type of flair because it was color and I felt like it needed to have like a really high volume style because the color is like really high volume. I will say I'm not too pleased with the color tips. Um, I don't really like this at all. No. There is a shedder. Um, when I say it's a shedder, it is shedding all over the place and like clumps and it's not a good look at all. I think it could have been made a whole lot better. Um, it didn't seem like they sold this hair on really well on the tracks, but I think it should have been a little bit longer because of the color of it. It should just fall a little bit longer because then it would look like probably a lot more sexier. So I don't really know about this color on me. Maybe if it didn't have this golden honey blonde at the ends, it probably would be okay. Or if I was to cut it off and make it a shorter kind of bob, that would probably be even cuter. So let's see what that would look like. I'm okay, girls, so I'm going to take a chance and I'm going to cut this golden, topish, kind of beige -ish color off the ends. Uh, like I said, I really wasn't feeling it. And for the color, like I said, it's a funky color. It's like a fun color. So I thought that the wig should be either fun or at least spicy. That golden color really kind of like takes away from the whole entire fun look. It kind of looked confused with that color at the bottom. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of like layer cut it down out of the gold. Or I might have a little bit of that golden brownish taupe color in there still. But the way I'm cutting it is kind of an angle. And I don't want it to be a blunt cut because I want it to be like a wavy type of bob. Um, if it doesn't come out right, then you know what? Hey, um, at least I tried. But I think this would be the best bet for this unit. So if you guys are ready, let's take a look at the finished look. Okay, guys. So here you go. I have like a lot of hair cut off. I'm not sure if you guys agree with me, but... It looks a lot better than what it did. I think like it looks really sexy now in an actual bob cut and yeah, much, much better. So this is something totally different for me. You guys know I don't do that many drastic changes, but I do prefer it in this length versus where it was. It just gave it a little bit more life as well as that as it gave it a whole lot more body and it just made it look more funkier opposed to it just being right here i think it's more or less to me like a silverish whitish gray um the gold tones were kind of like offsetting to it so now there is a little bit of gold on the end but not so noticeable so it doesn't look as bad so ladies let me know what you think of this one here by isis this is the uh, mermaid collection 
Also, this is available at sisterwig.com. You can pick up other loads of hair care products. I just got some of the Jamaican black castor oil for my edges because I've used this before, but it seems like it may get old and it starts smelling. So I went ahead and picked up a new bottle from their website as well so you can get items like that. But let me know what you think of this unit now. What do you prefer, it the before or the after? And also, if you want 10% off of your purchase at sisterwigs.com, you can use my code MUFFIN at the time of checkout to receive 10%. So on that note, stay diva and divalicious as always. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe, and thumbs this video up, and I'll speak to you guys on my next video.